What it is, my boxers? It's your girl, Joanne. That's right, Joanne Sebastian Box, aka JSB, aka Lil Boxy, aka Joe Boxer, aka Box Streets Box. Back with another unboxing, back with another box, box with another unboxing, back with another box. Smash that like button, ring that notification bell, hit subscribe so you never miss a box. We have a surprise mystery box that I really have like no idea what's gonna be in here. I know that it is heavy, which is always a good sign. And I cannot wait to unbox it with you, my boxers. So let's get to it. <laughs> You all remember my great, 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 great grandma, Mother Earth. Go like her videos. Please subscribe to her. She is amazing. And sometimes she sends me awesome little gifts. And this is one of them. It's so heavy. Like, I don't know how she even got it here. I didn't actually see her drop it off. And it didn't come in the mail. It just was like, came like this. I don't know how she got it here. Grandma's just like that. Like this video if you think there's gonna be some awesome stuff from Grandma in here. I think so. Here we go. <sighs> I'm so excited. I love that like right off the bat, this packaging is like totally reusable. Um, I know that I've talked about packaging before on my channel and you all are also like all about the reusable packaging. And this is like a, I don't know if you can even see it, but even this is like a cool gift. It's like this gold string. Like I'm going to just tie future gifts with it, I think. But I could also make it like a cute little headband. Comment below and say what you would use this like cool string for. Oh, look at that. Oh, so cute. Love it. This is just like a big piece of fabric. I love it so much. Let's see how quickly I can get it off here. Ooh. This is so cute. <gasps> Look at how cute these flowers are. Aww. Grandma knows I love plants. So I'm gonna just give this a little shake, just a little baby one. And I want you to comment below with what you think is gonna be in here based on what we hear. Which is just my heavy breathing. <laughs> like this video if you think that I am so strong because <laughs> I am really, really strong. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's more fabric. Ah, I love it. Also, how cute. Oh my gosh, super cute. Ooh. You can reuse these for like anything. Seriously, you can like put, I mean, I think they're called hat boxes, but it's like, that would be a really big hat, right? Comment below with what you would put inside this big round hat box thing. <gasps> Reveal again because we have more fabric. This fabric is so fun to rewrap with because you can wrap with it literally an infinite number of times. Like infinite gifts, infinite gifts, infinite wrapping with one piece of fabric. Is that an airplane? Any hoozles? Comment below if you also wrap gifts with fabric. <gasps> Surprise again! <laughs> oh my god! it's another box um okay <laughs> well that's oh shout out to my dog we have another box my boxers I could totally use this for other stuff light bulb jewelry a whole bunch of rubber ducks a whole bunch of rubber chickens non-perishable food items mini tea set and then just open it up and have tea anytime I wish I could have box full of socks it's a socks box do you hear that whistling Shout out to my brother whistling. Comment below and tell me what you would put in this slightly smaller box than the bigger box. Let's try our shake test again. I'm gonna do a little tiny baby shake, just really gentle. And we're gonna see if we can guess what's in this box. Again, it sounds like a very well packaged box of things that are super stable and I can't hear it at all. That's fine. Here we go. 
It's a box of stuff. Yes! Oh my goodness! There is even more reusable packaging! Heck yeah, Grandma! Thank you for sending me a bag inside a box. Inside a box. This is obviously very useful for groceries. You can also use this reusable bag for more groceries and then groceries again and groceries again. You don't have to use any paper or plastic bags anymore for the rest of your life. I would get some chickpeas and put them in here. Apples, bananas, pears, broccoli, carrots, avocados, if they're on sale, because they're kind of expensive, let's be real. Chickpeas are a really good source of protein and they are so cute. I mean, they're called chickpeas. That's cute. They're also just like so little. Tiny. All beans are very cute. Little kidney beans that look like teeny tiny kidneys. You just make a whole bunch of like little mini anatomy classes with tiny kidneys. Comment below with what fruits and vegetables you think look like internal organs. Oh, we just heard something. Oh, we're at the point where we can hear things now. It sounds kind of like metal maybe? Glass? Like this video if you think that there is glass in here. Another box. And a bag of straw. <laughs> now we're getting to it. What are these? Very little, very small. Cute. Sounds like a box. <gasps> Aww. It's an empty jar. Hold on. JK, I'm not throwing that out. You could use it to hold a tiny jar of what once was probably maple syrup. What else could you use this box for? Comment below and let me know. This is great. You might think, OMG, this is an empty jar. And you know what, friends? Yes, it is. I'm so excited. Okay, here you go. Can you see? This, I'm gonna guess, had maple syrup in it because it's shaped like a maple leaf. I'm gonna smell it too and I'll let you know what it smells like. Oh yeah. <sighs> Maple syrup of the past. You can do so many things with this little empty glass jar. I can make sand art. If you ever made sand art, like this video if you have made sand art. And if you have not made sand art, comment below with what you think sand art is. What would you put in this teeny tiny little jar? Comment below. So cute. <laughs> Oh, boxes. It's a bunch of empty jars. Grandma gave me lots of empty jars. Lots and lots of empty jars. I cannot hold all the empty jars because there's too many empty jars. Oh, okay. This is a lot of jars. One, two, three, four, five. And I say this is six. This one says taco spice on it. But comment below. Do you think this was originally taco spice? Because I don't think so. I'm trying to figure out what it was. You don't have to just go to the store and buy a bag of taco spice. You can grab your oregano and grab your cumin and grab your cayenne and grab your salt and grab your garlic. And you didn't even have to leave the house. That is a pretty cute. <gasps> I figured out what kind of spice this was. It says onion. The back. I found the original spice. Time. Don't we wish we had more of it? Because <laughs> it's empty. An old honey jar. You could just straight up put some pencils in there. Put some care in there, and then you got a, a care bear. Put some swears in there, and then it's a swear bear. Whoa. Healthy expression. This smells like a dishwasher. What would you put in here? after you wash it again. Jars you can use forever and ever and ever. And glass lasts a really long time. Got 
at it. Ooh, another honey jar. Because Grandma's so sweet. <gasps> this was also a local honey. Aww. Local stuff is so good because it means that you got a lower carbon footprint. Footprint. You don't have to travel as far to get your food and your food doesn't have to travel as far to get to you, which is awesome for the planet. I think that might be why Grandma sent this to me. If I know my gram, and I do, strong family resemblance. O-M-G, boxers. I am feeling another thing in here. <gasps> I thought this was the end of the box. I would have been satisfied with that, but I would love if there was a surprise in here. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna play a guessing game again. <laughs> guessing game time. I will describe it to you. Feels like maybe plastic? Let's reveal what it is. Dun, dun, dun. This is like a magic trick. What is that? Okay, I really don't know what this is, but it's fun. It doesn't smell like anything. It says it is recyclable. We like that, but even better than recycling is reusing something. So let's see, how could we reuse this? Ooh, right off the bat. Okay, I could just put some paint in here and use it as a little paint tray, a little ring dish. Put some rings in here. Look at this, hold on. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, so cute, so cute. And you know what? I'm also gonna say this is like kind of rare because who even knows what this is or where it came from? I don't. So I think maybe like a ring dish or somewhere where it could be highlighted. What do you think? Comment below with what you would do with this weird dish. I don't even need to know what it was because all I can think about is what it could be. Thanks, Graham. I love that. There are more things in here. Oh, okay. This is heavy. This might be where the weight came from, and I think I can guess what it is, because I just felt that there's a handle on it. Like this video if you think that this is something that a handle would have. What? Never mind. <laughs> you can unlike this video for that last one. That didn't make any sense. But then like the video again! You hear that? That kind of hurt my knuckles. Ah, I thought that's what this was. It is a teeny tiny super cute cast iron pan. That's freaking adorable. Okay, so there's an obvious use for this, which is to make teeny tiny eggs. A little mini pancake. A little mini, um, cake. Cake. One very thin muffin. The choice is yours, and that's the beauty of reusing old stuff. Now, this could be something that my great 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 grandma had in her house back in the day. People were smaller back then. But I also haven't seen this in her house and it's possible she bought it just for me. Maybe she went to like an antique shop or like a thrift store or vintage establishment. You can buy stuff that is new to you, right? Like it might be old and that's part of the fun. It doesn't need to be thrown into the garbage. Why would you want to throw away a cool, useful thing? Even if it's not something you would first think of. <gasps> What's this last thing? I was gonna shake it so you could think about what it was, but I just opened it by accident by taking the fabric off. So boom, here it is. <gasps> An egg carton. But the question is, is it full or is it empty? Does it sound like eggs to you? Is an egg a box? Like this video if you think that an egg is also a box. Comment below and tell me why or why not. Well, okay, based on the fact that it does not sound like eggshells breaking, I'm gonna guess that it does not have eggs in it. Let's find out. No eggs. No eggs in that box. <gasps> but there was something in that box. Oh, there's a toothbrush. Okay, first of all, okay, so much to unpack here. <laughs> well, get it. This seems like an empty egg carton, but it's not empty. It is full of air. Air is billions and billions of particles, and it's all around us. So really, none of this stuff is empty. This carton is delightful. I have a bunch of screws and nails from a recent toolbox reorg that I did. I might end up using one of these jars for that. Actually, I think this would be like perfect to hold old screws and nails in. So maybe then for this, I'll make like a little garden out of it. Like put little seed pods in here and some dirt and blow it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video about how to make a little garden out of an egg carton. A little egg garden. Here, 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 garden. A little egg 
her tin garden. It's a thing. And last but not least, I think. Yes. Old toothbrush! I, uh, let's be honest, do not replace my toothbrush as often as the 9 out of 10 dentists recommend. And really, who does, right? Come on. Every time I do need a new one, I'm like, ah, oh, then I'm just throwing all this plastic into the garbage and then it's just part of like a big trash pile in the middle of the ocean, like a big trash island. And that stinks because like sea turtles don't brush teeth. So like, why do they need, do sea turtles brush their teeth? Do sea turtles have teeth? Any oozles, I could use an old toothbrush to brush other things that are not teeth, right? Like the shower tiles in my bathroom, which is basically like giant bathroom teeth, when you think about it. Comment below, what would you scrub with this little scrubby old toothbrush that are not your teeth? OMG, boxers, we got so many good things today. I just love that Grandma 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 Lamb knows me enough to give me stuff she already had. That's the gift, you know? The gift of being able to be creative, reuse stuff, reduce your waste, save money. Graham, you've done it again. Thank you for giving me such cool things that also are meaningful because they came from you, which then makes me able to think about the previous owner of this stuff, its lives that it's had in the past, and then the lives that I will be able to provide for it in the future. Got pretty philosophical there for a second. Because the maple syrup of the past can be the sand art of the future. Comment below what you think we should unbox next and I will give you a shout out if I choose your thing. There's a box in the living room that I think is full of cords, but you don't know until you unbox it. You could unbox a fruit, because that's like the ultimate in sustainable packaging. Think about it. Super thanks to my great, 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 great grandma, Mother Earth, for giving me all these awesome things. Ugh. Go check out her videos. Make sure you like them. She is the ding ding best, and she is so good at what she does. She has great hair. This has been Joanne, Joanne Sebastian Box, aka Lil Boxy, aka Joe Boxer, aka Box Streets Box. All right. Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss a box. Tune in next time and I will see you then. Bye bye boxers. Shout out to my dog. Ba-da-da-da-da! -da -da -da.